good blessed this Saturday uh, evening is uh, Christmas Day, December the 25th, 2021. It's about 2.02 a.m. P.M. P.M., brother. It's P.M. I'm coming today is because this is something that, you know, I just addressed it with the uh, Charles, Missouri Housing Authority about these people that just moved over here and about all this trash. When it's thrown up in here, you can, you can see this cup here. It's a cup right over there by the house too. You see these boxes and stuff. You know, I, I believe they intentionally doing it uh, because I'll come out here sometime and sweep it up. The same with the leaves. Once the leaves are died on my trees, I'll come sometime and, and sweep them and put them over here for the Howling Authority guy to cut the leaves. They'll cut them up and they have enough respect where they won't blow it over here. But then when they do pile up and I blow them over here, the same individual who uh, moved over here from down the street, his kids and their friends, they like to kick it. The Howling Authority came over here just, uh, I believe it was Tuesday. The, the one of the, the, the top ranking housing authority individuals and I showed them all of this trash that these kids and that these people kids and their friends study throw out here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna pick it up. I'm gonna push it over there. When I pushed it over there Tuesday, the individual that lives here where you see this cup at, a white individual that moved from down the street, and I'm not saying this on the racist side. I'm saying this on the side because this individual and his family and their friends don't have no respect for the black community, and I'm gonna show you why. You see, number one, they keep throwing all this trash out here. Uh, number two, one of their one of their friends, uh, some of their company came over and stole one of my neighbor's puppies. And then my neighbor that lives in the back of me on the next street, which is Gale Street, live right in the back of me. He just told me two days ago that these same people that moved down here, right here where you seen that other cup at, they little daughter stole, went in his mailbox and took his mail out and he took them down there and told his mother, their mother about it. But let me show you something. This individual, live down here across the street where you see this green truck. Come on across the street. Not where the green truck is at, but down about halfway down in the project down here. This was an individual that done moved next to us now in the projects. We don't live in the projects, but our, our bushes separate the projects. This individual, when they were down there, they did the same stuff. Feel a bunch of kids coming, they take the stop sign, trying to knock the stop sign down. And the house was on fire down there, so they moved them down here. But let me show you how the law works for blacks versus whites here in Charleston, Missouri. If you're a felon, you don't suppose to be about around a gun, period. That's if you're a felon. Now, a black felon, if you're around a gun, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be locked up. You see, now, on November the 5th, 2021, uh, right down here in the 700 block of Vine Street, uh, a little bit uh, west of that green truck, these same people who kids started throwing all this trash. You see what I'm saying? And I done told his, the, the parents several times. But let me tell you something. This guy, uh, when the fire was put out, I videoed the fire on November the 5th, 2021. When the fire was out, the white individual told the police that it's a gun in the house, in the kitchen, in a gun safe. The police went and got it and brought the box out. 
getting ready to hand him the box. He said, no, I can't touch that box. I'm a felon. He recognized he a felon living in the projects. So if he don't want to touch the box, he know he shouldn't even be around a gun. But he said, that's my wife's gun. That was November the 5th. Police ain't did nothing. But yet I was on this same corner where you see them children's at. Some of the children's, his children's, and some of the other children's that bring all this trash. You can see the little cottages going, moving around. Them boxes is in my yard. That's what come out of them. Them race cars. You see what I'm saying? All these trash cans that we got around here. Instead of doing that, I guess they call they self uh, mocking me. You see what I'm saying? But this time, I'm going to put it on YouTube and let the people see, let the Howling Authority see that they continue doing the same thing. His company can steal dogs over here. He admitted to the Howling Authority guy that, that uh, his company stole the dog, but he went and got it back. But he, I just found out about his daughter. Little daughter goes into to another man's mailbox and taking this mail out. And the man caught him and took him down there and told his mama. That's a federal offense. You see what I'm saying? But this individual, this what he told me when I was pushing the, the trash that I'm finna push again. He came out and asked me, what's, what, where's, what's gonna happen with this trash? I told him, I don't care what happened to it because it came from y'all. My bushes stops anything from blowing in my yard that's in the housing authority where you at before you moved over here. We didn't have that type of trash. We didn't have people stealing people dogs. We didn't have our little kids. Hey, hey, now. We didn't have our little kids going in other people's mailboxes. You see what I'm saying? We didn't have that over here until y'all moved from down there. The same thing your, your kids and their friends doing here in our neighborhood. Y'all, they, they doing that, uh, they, what they was doing down the street, they doing it here too. But let me tell you what this white guy had the audacity to tell me now. Now he a felon. Don't supposed to be around no gun. Living in the projects. Hey, hey now. Living in the projects. You see what I'm saying? Two cars and got put on fire in his driveway. You see what I'm saying? Then the house get caught on fire. But let me show you what this guy had nerve to tell me. Now, I've been living over here since 2007. Let me show you what he told me. Okay. The housing authority man was standing right here. He's standing right there. When I'm telling the housing authority man about his kids, you can see the trash right now. My security cameras got who put it down there. You follow what I'm saying? He got right here and told me, this is the guy that, that who, 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 who don't supposed to really be living in the project. He put his hand on his hip and asked me, did I see this sign? Well, did it tear it down? Is this, a, is this, oh, it's a sign over there that says no trespassing. He told me, he said, you see that sign? It say no trespassing. He told me in front of the housing authority guy, get off this property. Then what I told him, you got two ways of getting me out. Big old boy, big old country white boy. Then his friend come, they got his hands in his pocket. But I ain't scared to die. He tell me, I told him he got two ways of getting me off. I said, you put me off or you call the police. Cause when you call the police, I'ma ask him why they didn't lock your behind up. You see what I'm saying? Why they didn't lock your behind up when you were felon in the projects and the gun is in there. But you know, I'm tired of this here. And soon when the housing authority back again, I'm gonna let them see this here. Cause they know they sent their workers out here Tuesday to clean this mess up. And it's right back down here again. You see, this time, I'm gonna take, take, take a good, good look at my cameras. So when they come back and throw it out here again, I'm going to get my water hose and put it on hot. I wish I could find a couple of snakes. And when they get ready to come over here throwing this trash over here again, I can throw some of them snakes out there to them. Some of them water markers. Here, throw that. Some of y'all may think that's being cruel. But you see, 
when you when you try to keep your neighborhood clean and the housing authority just let anybody move up in here, well anybody, you know, long as you ain't, you know, long as you ain't black. But see, I'ma wait on them to, to try to push this back in my bushes again today. And somebody might have to call the police. You know, this is just filth. This ain't my job here that I'm doing. You can see today, they came and piled these leaves right back into my bushes. But I got some more of them next time they come. I know they're listening, and I want them to listen. Because if the hiring authority or the police ain't going to do nothing about it, I'm going to show them better than I can tell them. I'm going to show them better than I can tell them. You can see they piled them up there. But when they come to pile them again, I'm going to pile their ass right up in these bushes. That's what I'm going to do. Excuse my language, y'all. But sometimes, sometimes you get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Children follow right along with their parents. If their parents filthy, if their parent parents filthy, they filthy. And yeah, you can see that they just took this stuff and and pushed it right back into the bushes. But like I said. I want y'all to hear me. I want y'all to hear me good. And big boy that told me to get off this property, that is private property. You see me out here, you hear me out here. Two things you can do. Dial 911 or get your homie that stole that dog. Get your daughter that's stealing people mail out their mailbox. Or you come with your big greasy, filthy, and make me get off this property. I'm sick of y'all. Move back down there where you was at first. We tired of y'all being over here. Peace be still.